It was a formidable tribe's base, hidden high up in the trees of aberration, and loot protected by various layers of defense. Loot that all players out there would do anything to get. But I still had yet to discover this hidden treasure. For now, I was dealing with a dilemma of gear. You see, in the previous episode, all of my fights resulted in me getting close to taking out the player, but not close enough. The solution is blueprints. These items vary from weapon to saddle to structure and much more. My eyes were set on weapons of course, and in order to acquire them, I'd consult two maps, Crystal Isles and the center. There were a few useful items, but nothing I was looking for, and seeing as I was already on the center, I thought, why not give it a quick scout? Ooh. I should probably not be scouting with my BPs on me. There's a vault here, fabricator. Oh man, this just screams. This just screams some hidden loot. Some hit. This just screams like there's something here. There's a ah. Oh, where's my Sonoma crops when you need it? There's the player. A vault and fabricate in this hidden base location. I was certain they had good loot. But before we do continue, I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, Yaha. Yaha is a brand new UGC creation platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experience. With Yaha, anyone can create and publish their virtual experiences. You can build the creation without coding experience or server knowledge. Just simply use the components and smart assets in Yaha Studio to make your dream games. Yaha supports multiplayer, playing one game simultaneously in one template or one game. Players can invite friends and hang out with them. They can also meet new friends at any time in countless immersive 3D spaces and like-minded communities. So make sure to click the link below to download Yaha Studio and join Yaha Early Access now for free. Thank you Yaha Studio for sponsoring today's video. Uh, I'll blow up the fabricator though. Gain access to the player by placing a C4 here maybe? Uh... No, 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 we want to damage the fab. See what the bases have to offer. Okay, we killed him and we took out his bed. Now, the only way you get down here, or up here, I should say. Okay, we got some polymer paste. Mm, I want to get black, black bolt is going to weigh me down. That, you have to enter a pin code. The only way you get here is with tame. So there's definitely, if it's not on this player, which is rest in peace right now, the player, okay, this is a level 98 player. I didn't get any tanks from the player or the fabricator, meaning there was only one place they could be, the vault. And, oh man, like, this could be so good, because he has a fabricator, like, he could have all his things prefabbed up in here, he could have BPs, the whole lot, essentially. 2c4, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's step back, Bloodstoker, you may take some damage. Alright, we ain't waiting more C4. This is a rocket's job. Oh, we have a bag. Okay, we have a bag for the vault. Alright. Here we go. <sighs> ah. After getting the tributes from the vault, things started to add up. That was the station to craft tech structures. The fab had the resources for them, and the vault, leftover tributes. Safe to say they wouldn't go to waste, as I stashed them underwater in a wooden storage box. And seeing as I had already farmed the loot crates for blueprints, another way to get them would be via raids, which in the previous episode I had come across this base. But when I checked it out... This is interesting, this was a base I scouted out not too long ago. But because I didn't have stickers, I didn't go off to it, but I think they got raided. They have quite a few, I mean, shotgun shells? I guess some people are just so rich already, they don't even take these things. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. But this wasn't the only target I had come across in the previous episode. There was another. I can't tell if these guys have been raided or what. But like... The turret on that side is down, I might just hit this. Because... 
there's no way these guys are so oblivious to the fact that the turrets are offline. Someone flame at. Like, do they still have a base back there? I wonder if I can get a view. I might just hit this. Uh, I would like a way to, 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 to tell if there's actually bullets so I don't waste my time. Or just, is there any way I can? Oh man, surely I should get shot. This was risky, but it would be worth to find out if this base was actually raided or not. I think... Okay, no, they got soaked out, I think. Whoever had raided this base had done a pretty clean job. Whether or not that was true for the loot, I still had yet to find out. Oh yeah, they did. Oh my blue gems though. There's actually some stuff here for the poor people. I mean, I'm not that poor, but... Batteries? <laughs> I'm just scavenging from people's bases at this point. <laughs> oh man. Thus far, I was two for two when it came to bases I had found that later had been raided. So I continued searching and found this. Oh, the players online as well. What is this? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Oh, my silk is not taking damage for some reason. Oh, now it's taking damage. Oh, rip. That's not good. Oh, the man is just very weak. Alright, let's see if you want to fight. Let's see if you're about that life. To cut a long story short, he wasn't. But this was a target I could keep in mind. And since the loot crates were off cooldown, I made sure to set up a spawn point to increase efficiency when farming them. Ooh. Ooh. We got a weapon. We got a beautiful weapon, BP. Oh man, I knew these drops would pay off one day. I knew one day they would finally pay off. Ah, no way I'm making that. Oh man, let's let's take a look at this. 268 euro. My dude is pretty expensive. I am solo. But I could probably craft a few of those. Why not? I could probably craft a few. I'd say maximum two, but I could craft two. Yeah, I, I see myself crafting two. My first weapon BP. I immediately headed back to base with it and made sure to raise some stegos as I was now ready for the raid. Reason being, if I were to lose any during it, I'd at least have these as spear. So with that taken care of, I headed over. Alright, back at the base. Now to execute the plan perfectly. Gonna have my bloodstoker chilling like this. And we got our Sonoma crops right here. So we can fly up top. We're gonna toss out the stego like right here. Oh my god, okay, it bounced over to the side. Just gonna wait for the cry sickness. Let me have my... Ah, that's fine. Okay, cry sickness done. Should be able to just push up all the way. I did, but for some reason I wasn't getting shot. The heavy turret soaked? Oh, I think- what? No way, it got raided. It's actually damaged. There my C4. No way, it actually got raided. So now, I was 3 for 3 when it came to bases that I had found, only to find out later they had been raided. As for the Thames... Okay, it's dead. Empty. Nothing left behind. But that wasn't all of the attempts. Yeah, because their bullets are pretty much empty. Let's see if the main wing had anything. He's high level though, so fair enough. Oh my! Okay, nothing too crazy. But... The saddle's normal, they just had some HP. I'll take that Z seed. And I'll take that saddle and that saddle. We just got two heavy turrets and some ARB, okay. A mistake the raiders made was not taking out all of the tames, allowing me to profit from it. 
Now, although I couldn't raid this base for BPs, as it had already been raided, farming and raiding weren't the only ways to get them. The other alternative was trading. We got the boots, we got the chest. Alright, we're not going to talk in chat, we can't, this guy knows who we are, but we can't let our identity be revealed. The last thing I did for the night was add another two pieces to my flax set, meaning it was just the legs left. Alright, it's a new day, and did my rock drake starve? Because I actually didn't end up feeding it, no, it did not look at this. We got, I think this must have raised recently because uh, it doesn't have any XP. So I think they definitely raised recently. All our females, I don't think they were all ready to breed, are they? I'm gonna wait, that's 40 minutes, that's 4 hours. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait the timers. Uh, I believe, yeah, now. Nah, I cry, I need to cry sick all my babies in this real quick. I won't cry the blood stalk. The blood stalk shreds through meat. So you, you can stay awake. Let's see, we got some meat in there, so you'll be taken care of for a bit, although I will keep plucking myself. Let's also, whilst we're at it, because we did farm the things for a drake saddle, let's make one drake saddle. Oh man, that means we could actually go ahead and get reapers, that is gonna be huge. I think, to start off the day with a bang, I think that's what we need to do. But before leaving, I made sure to uncryo my stegos so that they could continue raising. The reason I left them in cryo was so that I didn't miss the imprint timer, but with them thrown out, I could finally head out. Okay, it's time to whip out the rock drake. I got my full has armor, just bringing two sets in case, I got the trap, and we have the rock drake. I also got my light pit, don't worry, I got my light pit, so, and I brought over, I'm bringing the good shotgun, that's how you know it's serious, when you bring over the good shotgun. Ah. Oh. I must say though, when you fly a rock trick, it takes a while to get used to if it's your first time, but it's such a lovely team to move around on. Very majestic. Look at us. Look at us go. Just breezy through. Similar to a Maywing now that I think about it, although I don't think that's fast. But then again, a Maywing can't climb a walls like a rock tray can. So that's the other thing. Hmm. Okay, I won't be able to get Reapers in my usual spot. I'm gonna have to look somewhere else. The spot I usually get them was covered by some turrets. So this time, I'd have to improvise. I think I might have to do this the old school way. I'm just gonna have to do this the old school way. Because we are solo, it's not like we need to trap it. My rock trick will just have to tank. Okay, I'm going to put one more clip into it. Okay, I'm gonna put a hopper clip into it. Maybe not even actually. Nah, half a clip. Or oh, actually, maybe in a full. Let me see. One more. Okay, that should be enough. Oh my god, I didn't want me to do that. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, Rocky Tank. I just gotta sort of get its aggro. Always make sure to switch off your light pit so it will have that purple effect once it is low enough. And then one thing it's always good practice to get aggro of it so it aggroes onto your character is to hit it have a hatchet on you. Just like that. No, come back! What is this? This is a scam! Okay, it's coming back. Oh, my rock trick's about to take a beating. I can tell you that, man. Unless... Oh, no, it's gonna grab me. Let's go. Come on, please work, please work, please work. No way. Oh, does she just insta berry? Okay, I was... Oh, yeah, I forgot, so... I guess she just does, does instant berry into the ground. Never to be seen again. That's if you don't have a trap. Yeah. Okay, cool. I had the Reaper. Now it was time to get the levels and living on aberration with Spinos, which give you a ton of XP, it would be no problem.
Ooh, 130. We almost got all the levels. Boom. Reaper box. Right there. So I had the Reaper, the level for it, and the box to hatch it. The only thing I'd have to wait for was the timer itself. So to make the most productive use of my time, I went out to tame some carbos, farmed the drops on Crystal Isles, as well as the center. Oh my god! Okay! Oh my! No freaking way! Oh, we can finally roam strong pump and strong. F oh my! Oh, actually, I don't. I don't think can we? No, we can roam fab. Oh my! We can roam pump and fab right now. My gear and lines had improved tremendously. I now had the cobble line, new pump BP, and all I had to do was wait for the reaper to hatch. So in the meantime, I decided to do some editing and totally forgot about it. Oh damn! I didn't even realize I was editing. Oh my god. We got 35 melee, 28 health. I was editing and my reaper popped. I had no clue. Okay, I just gotta go in the opposite corner and it will hop at me. Yep, just like that. Oh, we actually got a pretty sick colored reaper. We got 35 melee. Ooh, that is pretty nice. Overall, I was quite pleased with the reaper as I'm an advocate for melee ones. So I had the reaper gear i had both the pump and fab and the only thing i was really missing was the leggings for my arbor my plan was to farm more loot crates but just as i was about to transfer what is up with me and finding players on reapers whenever i'm looking for a drop i swear it's the same guy he's going for the cryo Oh my god. What legs does my man have? Don't run away, he's heavy. Okay, his legs are broke. I'm chasing after him, he has a reaper. How is he not dead? I'm dead. I'm the one that's dead. Ugh. Yo! How has my man survived that? What? <laughs> I swear it's the exact same guy as well. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. <gasps> I should have went for the bowler. No, but like, I even upgraded to the other fab I got, the 194. The sick. Oh, that's the Reaper. Okay, he's gonna park her up. No. You like what? How, how? I just I don't I just don't understand how he's not dead. Oh man. <laughs> Can we drag the body? No, but at least we get to bury him. Rest in peace, Maywing186. Oh, didn't even have the decency. I guess these are the Maywing's ashes, so we'll have to go to the... Well, we have to burn. Oh, it's these body parts, I guess, so we need to go burn it and turn it into ashes. Which I guess we can do right now. We shall burn the ashes. Actually, we have to burn the ashes of the Maywing at like the highest peak so i guess i gotta wait for this cryo time to run down well not burn the ashes but 
we're gonna get the ashes once we do. We'll, okay, his meat won't spoil in the next eight minutes, so we're fine on time. I mean, that maiming, man. That maiming has started it all. From the beginning, was... From the beginning, it started, it really did start at all, like, we tamed that Maywing, it was our first tame, we used it to move around on, Maywing level 186 is, was his name, I didn't even have the decency to give him a name, and yeah, we moved around on it, it's what really started our base, picked up all the metal, the weight of the metal from the beginning, you know, the all the resources we found with it, the berries, it really did a lot, and... It's sad to see it go this way. Alright. That was that drop. We gotta... We gotta head over to the... Oh no! We're not supposed to be burning ourselves, just the maiming. Alright, we're at the highest peak. Under this fire... Actually no, I don't want to try anything risky. Ah, yeah, here's the highest point. Right here. Yeah. All the metal, the berries, everything. You will always be missed, maybe. Treasured from here on out. And with that taken care of, it was back to business. I farmed whatever loot crates were left, nothing extraordinary in terms of BPs. So I headed back to base and began crafting up weapons, gear, all in preparation for a raid that I hoped would have some BPs. I could also use the Sonoma just to scout a bit, get a bit idea of the base. Yeah, so those autos are just over there. If I get underneath that with a Bloodstoker, which is highly possible, let me see. I think I can actually... Oh, I'm in K-mode. Ooh, I think he's online. So I think I should be able to dash past and damage his base. If not, we're, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble, I won't lie. Nope! Oh my god. That's all bad. This is all bad. Yep. Oh my god, that could have not gone worse. The lag scuffed me. Oh, I can definitely do it though. I just need a Sonoma and some C4. We have this. We do. No. Okay. <laughs> Not that the normal crops. <laughs> oh my god. Right, let me let me spawn on the bed. Why not? Let's see how many auto turrets we destroyed. No. Okay, we destroyed two auto turrets. You know what? Let's be grateful. We destroyed. We at least destroyed two. Did us bloodstalker die? So no more crops. Ah, oh, rip. Okay. It's just you and me, Bloodstalker. You and me against the wall. Get the right angle. I think something like that. No. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Easy does it. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Oh. I forgot the player. We got the turrets. Let's get up here and replace our flak. 
Okay, yeah, we got all the turrets. Oh, there was actually a turret up here. A smithy. Okay, let's see what we got. We got 500 paste. Not bad to start it off. How much RB? Nothing too crazy. Come on, this player has to be somewhat rich because they have a metal cloth platform. I assume all their teams are going to be inside the fabricator. Ah, oh, something is afoot. Something is not right here. How would the player get up in here? Oh, he's got a good bit of metal. Ooh, that's actually pretty juice. I'd have to come back here for this. Something wasn't adding up. There weren't any tames. You could say his tribe mate had them, but I was certain the player was solo. One, because his tribe name was the default being Tribe of Kubi. Second, if he did have a tribe mate, those two deaths I had would have easily alerted him, yet no one showed, further confirming my theory. This led me to believe he had to have been hiding the tames, so I tamed a parasol and began searching. Okay, so this is this is the dude's bag right here. I refuse to believe he doesn't have any tames. I'm gonna take this parasol for a walk though. I, I want to take it. There was a hidden storage box in the leaves, but the question is, was it from the same tribe? Tribe of Kubi. Okay, so okay, so we know this guy does like hiding things. This further reinforced my belief and drove me to search anywhere and everywhere around this player's base, but to no avail found nothing. The only conclusion I could come to was that before logging off, he uploaded his tames and spawned back at base, hence why he had nothing on his body. So it was back to scouting for me. Ooh, what is this? This is a spot I have not ever seen before. Which piques my interest because I know a lot of spots in Aberration. There's also a lot that I don't know. But more than any other map, I think Aberration and Sinter... Oh, look there though. That's crops. Aberration and Sinter are the two maps that I know fairly well. His name is Fat Man. And his heavy turrets is not online right now. Oh, I could rate... I have my Stegos. Oh man, I'm excited to use the Stegos. Uh, let me see. How would I go about this? His crops are right here. I need to get some intel. What? Is this a whole different... Wait, is this... Oh wait, I think I might know... I, I might know what's going on here. I think that's his main base. This just could be a defensive chandelier to keep people such as myself. Come on, Bloodstalker. No, no, Bloodstalker is glitching out. No, no. Now is the worst time to be doing this, Bloodstalker. Am I right? I am. Oh, no way. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. Doggy shot, doggy shot, doggy shot. Okay, so that's his chandelier. That that actually doesn't provide anything for his base apart from defense. His main base is down here, which I think, yeah, the heavies do give coverage, but with the stego, I should be able to run straight through. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for this. This could this could be so juicy. It looks really juicy as well. This was exactly what I had been looking for. In fact, the chandelier they had above, with a stego, I'd be able to completely avoid it and make my way to the base. But the more I snooped around, the more... I need to be certain. So that's where the stego is. Why are the turrets... Hmm. He has the turrets all facing... Oh, and it also has heavies above. There were more defenses than what I first thought, so I decided to take a closer look. Yeah, it's good I'm checking this out now, because I do not know he has. But it's all facing one direction. I think I'm just gonna go in with the Stego though to explore a little. Okay, the Stego can't even fit inside. But we can hop off safely. Okay, I'm gonna cry the Stego. I bypassed the first chandelier, but now needed to be careful of the second one above me. I see a portion of the base. The vault placed by the owner. I know he has heavy, now we know he has heavy turrets up somewhere. Yeah, heavy turrets right there. He 
It does have a vault right here though. I think this vault, yeah, I can skip all of those defenses if I blow through these vaults. I'm pretty sure. Is there any other way of getting into this base? I think through that little crack to the right hand side, that's why he has his turrets there. Because there is that little crack to the right hand side. But the better option would just be to blow right through here. Yep, it did. Sonoma crops carry us. We can't afford to lose the Sonoma crops as well. That's the other thing. I'm just going to blow. Yeah, I'm going to blow through this vault. I'll place my last C4 on this vault. There's no place I can stand now. Please. No way. The last one. No. Okay, so we have access to the stone cliff platform, and at least it's a stone one. So it looks like... Firstly, the vault didn't have anything. Oh man. The scary part is, it looks like we're gonna have to drop the entire stone cliff platform, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to... Yeah, we're gonna have to drop the stone cliff platform, which isn't a big deal, C4. I don't think it's a too big of a deal. It's a stone cliff platform. But I think... I'm not sure if it's gonna give... His base, his turrets that he has set up above, those chandeliers above. I'm not sure if it's going to line of sight, uh, line of sight to us. Or shoot us, basically, is what, what I'm trying to say. Because we got rid of that whole base, I'm not sure. So, I'm, I'm gonna head back to base. We should have some charcoal smarted up that we can make some gunpowder. Damn, I find that crazy, though, like... I would have definitely defended that... A lot differently than what he's defended that base spot because it's only I don't have to soak a single turret with the current uh, with the current way it's defended. I just gotta blow up his cliff platform that's holding everything he holds dear himself. That was true, but not entirely true. As when I returned, you know, now that I think about it, though, I don't think I can actually get into the base from here. Worst comes to worst, so right now I could drop. The auto turrets, that's if I want to deal with it, but I think, now that I look at it, I think the only way is from up there. Because I, I don't think it's possible for an arc character to fit through that, that size hole. It doesn't look like it, at least. So, yes, I'd be able to take away everything this player held dear, but that would defeat the purpose as I wouldn't be able to get it for myself. Meaning, I'd have to go through the various layers of defense, that this player had. Oh no, that one's on Thames. Alright, I guess we're gonna get a test for their bullet count. So he has that one, he has that one. So only three. I say only three, but then look at my health. But I soak those three. I think I may even be able to find an angle with a rock. Ooh. I think. I think we've done something. No way, I can. I just don't want to soak that other sh- okay, let me turn around. Okay, I won't soak that other chandelier. That's the one thing I'm afraid of. Alright, let's see which heavies shoot me. Can I just soak one? Oh, so you either soak both or you soak none. Okay, I think I'm going to play it safe, play it patient. I'm going to soak both of these. That's cool though, I figured you can actually walk on this bronze, so that's interesting and good to know. So I'll soak both of these. And then after I'm done, I guess... Gotta be careful here. I guess we can walk our way up to the next part of the base. So far, so good. In the meantime, whilst the stego healed, I went ahead to do some snooping around with the Sonoma crops. Oh damn. Oh da Damn, did I not see that. Oh, so there's a... Uh... Yeah, there's a thing. A massive line of sight from one of their death walls. But what I didn't realize was that those weren't the turrets that were shooting me. 
Oh, it's that one over there. Instead, it was the chandelier to the right. The one that I thought I could avoid. But if I wanted to move on, would I have to deal with it? I just gotta be careful here. Oh my god. So we have good news and bad news. The bad news is, I don't have much time, but I gotta figure a way to get unstuck here. Okay, I'm only soaking that heavy. I'm in a bit of a predicament though. I think the stego can't back up. Now, if the bullet count is the same all around, I should be able to hopefully soak this. I could try to figure out how to get unstuck right now, whilst I have the most health. Because I cryoed the stego in here and didn't walk it in, I couldn't get out the way I came. I'd have to come up with something else. Nope, if I'm getting unstuck, it's not going to be through that way. Oh my god, bro. Can I get unstuck through this way? With my stego's half dwindling, I was running out of time. I think the stego is going to have to die. If I cry with this, I most likely will die. If I don't, I feel the outcome. I lose the stego. Damn. Tough decisions out here, boys. Can I just run it off? Oh, no way. I'm insane. Okay, let's be humble for a bit before the game gives us karma. I'm insane. I'm just insane. Okay. <laughs> if I soak those two turrets... I'll be able to take care of that chandelier. If I take care of that chandelier, that's just over there, I'll be able to move over to the final wall. As obstreperous as it was to soak that chandelier, I had to take care of it. Without it, I wouldn't be able to move on. I'm just gonna destroy this heavy. One more should do the trick. Okay, I think I've soaked those actually. Nice. Alright, let me get my stego. Cool. Now we can move on to the next part of the base, which is flying up with our Sonoma. Oh, so close, but so far. Okay. I think I have to stalk a dash up. Ah. Oh. Close. There we go. Oh damn. Oh, I should have disabled that chandelier. I did have the option to. Okay, this is only one auto turret, so this I can run. Wait, I feel like there was another turret shooting me. It could be that heavy behind me though. Oh, I see it. Ah, I see the turret. So I wasn't just running any turret. I was running. Wait a minute. If I soak that heavy turret, what's my Stego's HP? I think, yeah, I can soak and then I can dash past with my Stego. Oh man, this guy's Reapers is... This guy is loaded. I can dash past all those turrets at the bottom with my Stego. With my Stego, with my Stalker. Okay, I just gotta wait this cryo timer. If I can soak that heavy. So if I can just dash past... I think it's soaked. Okay, it's soaked. Okay, the thing is here... Um... I, okay, I don't plan to soak anymore, at least not yet. If I can dash through there with my stalker, 
which I think I should be able to fit through. This is super risky because this is sort of all oh my good ARB. I forgot about the ARB. If I can dash pause, I can shut down that whole chandelier, which is going to save a lot of time. And time is very important right now. I'm just going to toss this is such good ARB. And we'll also be able to get so much ARB from this, which will just be huge in turn. Okay, uh, let me have a look. I'm gonna use the K mode of the Bloodstalker. Ooh, they do have an internal. They do have one internal, but the amount of Reapers they have, they, I should be... Now we gotta take this risk. This is a risk we have to take. With an internal, my chances only became even more slim. But it was the only one I had. I want to shoot it like low, underneath the cliff platform. I don't want to go above the cliff platform. I want to go below. Okay, we're in. Oh damn. Hiding behind the toilet. Let's just replace the flak. Alright, okay, we've, do we've done the, the hard part. We just need to navigate and make our way to the generator with these reapers sort of in our way. Oh, these reapers are messing us up. Oh. Uh. Now we can't get through. I'd have to find another way, which was the hard way. I'm just gonna try and turn off the gin. No way. Oh my god, we've done it. Get it. Oh my god, we've actually, we've done it. This is going to be so much ARB. I'm not going to blow up those turrets because then they're going to bags and I'll be forced to pick them up. Before I could begin worrying about any ARB, I still had to take care of the turrets below. I'll hop off. I don't think there's any... Okay, I think I'm going to try and run it. Oh my god. Oh man, well that's not smart, that was not smart at all, I should have not done that, can't really heal. In this position, I just needed to do as much damage as I could. Oh my god, I mean I did get a C4 down so I can hit back to base, grab a C4 dead. Yeah, that's, the turrets just don't get, oh that's my stalker gonna die there. I, oh. That doesn't make any sense though, like. I think it's because it's in the in the tree, the terrain is just weird. So it's not really getting damaged. Unfortunately in my case, that C4 went in vain. But I still had a few tricks up my sleeve. It won't work. Okay, but it's fine. We still have a thing back at base. So my plan is here to essentially just rush to the turrets right now. Pop the beer. Nice, we got all of our things. I don't know if I want to place the C4 like that. That does so much damage. Okay, I'm just going to blow through this wall. It was my best bet, as any other spot didn't work. I will die here. Yeah, that's all I can say. Probably a bit overkill. But there's like nothing I can do. I'm going to definitely die. But we did make a significant hole in their base. So now I think the plan is... Okay, we're in. There's our body. Here's a player. Oh yes, they have flak BPs. 
Wait, let me take that off. Oh, that's some nice flak I can replace on my body. Here's another one. Yes, we've done it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've we're infiltrated the we've infiltrated the base. I'm probably gonna be encumbered. Yep. Why do I have this weird oh yeah, I just took that guy's kit. How much C4 do I have? I have seven C4 here. Wait, do they even have a vault? I don't think they do have a vault. That was the one thing I was worried about. Need to take care of that guy though. Now we can take care of the player. We can access his inventory. No. We want to access the player's inventory. Oh my god. For some reason we, we're going to have to hatch this man down. Okay, yeah, he's taken out of the picture. Alright, let's look in the structures in the meantime. Chemistry bench, bunch of spark powder. Reserving bin. Okay, they got the Z's. Gasoline. Fabricator. Oh my god. Absolutely loaded to the brim. Now I'm going to take the lightest things. The electronics. Of course. Look at all that metal. The hide. Oh, I wish I had a snowman crop store. To navigate around here and just collect all the salute. Oh my, even more electronics. Look at that Giga BP. Oh, people would want to trade for two so BP as well. Oh my god. Alright. Refrigerator. This is probably where the tames. Okay, bruise. I won't the bruise are gonna just weigh me down. That's a campfire. Uh what's this? The large crop plot, the Z's. And here we have the Smithy. Oh wait, obviously the crowds are gonna be in the Smithy. Come on, give me the flag BPs, no? Hmm. Interesting. Got a C4 and a C4 dead. No flag BPs just yet. Load our mannequin. 43 armor apprentice stego BP. Slightly better than ours. Will give us more craft skill. A bunch of charge batteries and some fertilizer. I think it is floating. Alright, let's just go carefully down. Oh no. Uh... Wait, that's a turret bag. And I'm down here. Okay, cryofreeze though. Yeah, we have a bag. Ooh, what? Okay, we got a we got a Reaper. Ticks they go horrible. Good. Oh, not really good at all. Horrible. Disgusting ticks they go. I'll take this female. I mean, I guess I'll take stalkers though. Just a bunch of Sonoma. <laughs> we got the Sonoma crop. You know what? I'm gonna toss. I'll take all the teams. We can look back. I think we got a rock trick as well. No way. Nice. And we also got two souls. And an angler. Explains a lot. I'm just gonna toss out the Sonoma crops. We got so many Sonoma crops that we lost. Oh man, this raid was actually so worth just for that alone. By far my juiciest one yet. I made sure to stock up the Sonoma crops with all the loot that I could carry. And the rest on the Maywing. What I didn't account for was this. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Did I seriously knock out? And my maiming with all the loot just went into that water down there. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding. Oh my god, please don't tell me that maiming dies. Please do not tell me that maiming dies. Where's my Sonoma? Is it on my back? No. It's just over here. Okay, I actually got lucky. There's so much bad stuff down here. I was just about to get to a drop to transfer out as well. Luckily for me, no players had found me, nor the PvE. And I was able to safely transfer back to my base. Let's go back to base. Stowed away all the cryos. So far, so we got a top. The one crazy thing is we actually got a Reaper, a really high level Reaper. That we could even use to meet around the tents now that I think about it. And then we got a ton of Bloodstalkers, which looking at their stats, I definitely think we have the superior. Yeah, no, definitely. We have a way better line. I think we got really. Wait, we got two Reapers. I didn't even realize. Okay, that's sick. That's that actually has good melee. This one has even better. I may just bring that one with me. I think. I, and then we got an angler. We got two souls. 
my trade those and then i just i just like literally tossed everything uh yeah so these are the bps we got a really nice stego bp insane giga bp got some resources and then i tossed pretty much everything else in here the resources all the fertilizer as you can see it was the cherry on top to end my wipe and if you did enjoy it and would like to see the entire series then i'll have it on screen as a playlist thank you so much for the support you guys are honestly insane and until next time i hope you have a good day or night wherever you are